There's always going to be a debate about what is the best bait. It doesn't matter what kind of fishing you're doing. As far as surf fishing goes, you guys always see me fish with shrimp. There's no doubt that shrimp is a solid player. We've caught a lot of fish on it. A lot of people, though, would argue that there is a bait that is better. It just catches fish better. Today, we are going to try to find that bait. It's been kind of ducking me here recently. Hopefully, we'll gather some, and then we'll try to fish with some. Hopefully, catch some freaking fish. The water's looking a little interesting today. Maybe Chef First Day will come out and do a little catch and cook. But yeah, man. First, we have to try to find this bait. I think we're stopping here because I think I see some. The seas are angry today man okay dude, i think i see them i don't know if you guys can see the water is kind of definitely not the cleanest hopefully that doesn't affect the fishing too much but i'm sure you guys probably can't even see on this gopro angle as the water is receding like it is right now oh right there dude i see a colony that looks like some sand fleas i don't know what it is about florida but like i cannot find or catch sand fleas it's honestly a lot more complicated than i thought it was i don't know if it's just the beaches i've been to around here or like there's been a lot of beach replenishment at those beaches whatever i dude there's been a struggle to find these little buggers we're gonna take the boot off we're gonna walk out stick our hands out on the sand and when it recedes kind of hopefully trap some of these dudes as the waves go out you can kind of see them go out and kind of dig a little bit down a lot of times you'll see people with a rake and they'll like hold the rake down I would do that, but those things are freaking expensive. Like the tackle shop had them for like 70, 80 bucks. I got two good working hands. Might not be as efficient, but yeah, we're gonna get out there. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to film this. Try to stick our hands in the sand. Hopefully we can catch some of these dudes. That's for sure some of them right there. I feel like that chocolate guy from SpongeBob. <laughs> finally, finally, I've been trying to catch you boys all day. Let's get this day started. Again, this is rough. So even if we do catch some, I don't know if we'll be able to stay on the hook and if anything will bite in this chocolate milky stuff but we're getting ahead of ourselves no need to go like this let's go like this straight up first step get the bait i think i see a whole pot of them right here we just have to not get swept out to see oh yeah we see them all right hold on there we go there we go first sand flea of the day y'all see that it's a baby We'll put them in the bucket. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but as the water's going back out here, there's little V's that are going back and you can kind of spot the uh, family a little bit. I don't know if that makes any sense the way I'm saying it, but I'm just gonna put my hand in like, the oh yeah, dude, there's a bunch. baby again. Come on, we need some big ones. Oh, we are in them, baby. So after a little bit of digging, you guys can see they're kind of going towards this direction. We got some decent ones in here, man. Nothing super huge, but I mean, if we need more bait, we could just go back into the water. It's interesting because back in Delaware, these things would be all over our beaches. And I remember you could just dig down like anywhere and you could find some. Here, it's like a bit more complicated at times. I don't know if it depends on time of year or beach or what the heck. There's been places in Florida where I can't find any, but we found some today and uh, hopefully I mean, everybody, dude, look at this one. That's a good one right there. Everybody says that this is like one of the best baits you can use. Everybody uses bait for surf fishing. Can we catch some stuff with these sand fleas today? Let's go get the rod and reel. Let's see what we can do. All right, and we are back. We're actually going to be fishing right next to where we got these dudes at this pier here. And uh, basically, the rig we got, this is, what is this? This is a four ounce sinker. Hopefully this holds. It's a little... It's looking a little rough out there. But then we just have this little dropper loop with a small hook. Realistically, people say that anything will eat these sand fleas. It's just a bait, especially if it's like on the beach here, it's a bait that a lot of these fish are definitely eating. And also um, another tip for finding these dudes, the sandpipers, like, you know, those little birds that go along like the edge of the beach. If you see those, there's a good chance that there's some sand fleas there too. Those dudes are, you know, they're kind of feeding on them as well. Hi, the beach ranger. Let's take this dude first. So. If you guys have never seen a sand flea, I think they call them mole crabs. Back when I was growing up, we never even, we called them uh, sand crabs. Oh, geez. Here's a close up on these dudes. They won't hurt you. 
they just kind of like dig into the sand and again this is like candy for a lot of fish down there especially sometimes they have all this orange stuff in them fish freaking love that now, i'm not gonna say i've never fished with these dudes before but it hasn't i honestly i mean when is the last time you guys see me like I, I just use shrimp maybe my mind will change today not exactly sure how to hook them oh yeah you see that right there Look at all that orange stuff, dude. I'm gonna hook them through the back. I believe this is how you do it. And again, if you guys have any tips, please leave them down in the comment section below. Again, I don't really fish with these dudes that much. All right, though. Let's get over here. It is incoming tide. I don't know how great this is gonna work. We're gonna try to get it right after the first bar here. And hopefully, with these big waves, this can kind of just hold on. <laughs> I don't really know. I've never fished here before. A lot of new stuff going on here today. Today though, instead of uh, bringing multiple rods and kind of having them set up in sand spikes, since it is so like crazy out there, I'm just gonna hold this dude. Cause I'm sure these rods are gonna be bopping around a good amount. I just wanna feel if we get a bite, you know what I'm saying? Dude, I don't know if this four ounce is gonna hold. All right, let's reel this in. Still got our sand fleet on there. It is toasty today. We're gonna uh, switch beaches up because this one is just way too rough right now. I don't think I mentioned this either, but sand fleas around this whole area, you just cannot even get them at a base shop. Like they're kind of a rarity. There's one that I didn't call though. Do you guys sell sand fleas? We, I have uh, frozen ones that have been brined, but no live. Okay, all right, thank you. Okay, so yeah, just like this one, one other one has sand fleas, but they're frozen. And like when you're fishing, you know, you want the fresh stuff. Frozen just don't hit the same, man. So yeah, if we wanted to fish with St. Fleas Day, which we do, we'd have to go out there, get our hands dirty, get in the water, or just rake them up. Well, I mean, we got some. Let's try to hit up another beach and see uh, what we could do over there. Hopefully the water is more like chilled out over there. It is definitely less like crazy out here for sure, for sure. The ocean's a little too much today, man. This water looks a lot cleaner too. Yeah, this looks pretty good right here. That's a jumbo right there. Well, that's a real nice one. All right. The same rig, same plan, hopefully different results. I would actually love to catch something to eat as well. I have a recipe I've been wanting to try out. Oh, geez. All right. Nice size flea on. Hopefully it is about to go down. This tide should still be coming in as well. There's actually nobody else out on this beach right now either. It is actually amazing. Anybody home? Again, we're just gonna be holding this. No sand spikes today. It's crazy how, oh, you yeah, know, that tide's definitely still coming in. It's crazy that nobody else is out here. I mean, let me just do a pan real quick. Look at this. We are the only souls out. Oh my God, I just got bit. It was like a brrr. patient we have a circle hook on here so the goal is hopefully something come over here chop this thing and just kind of run with it and then it gets stuck in the side of its mouth and kind of hooks itself i'm just hoping that nothing just either stole it or just cleaned me out i'm telling you sometimes they just eat the insides and they just leave you with like the shell of the flea and that's one of the things that can get kind of annoying i guess let's reel this back in and see after that bite it's been a little bit any takers, please still be on there. Uh, hopefully we have enough fleas. I'm baking on the smaller ones when they're on a small hook like this. Oh my gosh. I'm hoping that the smaller fleas just get chomped, you know what I'm saying? And hook up, instant. 
Not no beating around the bush. Tasting baby chomps. Oh my man. I mean, it's a good sign at least that we got bit. The way that this bait gets hyped up. I feel like instantly when I throw it out there, like, look, if we were throwing, like, I have all my faith in the world in the in the shrimp. If we were throwing little shrimp pieces or even live shrimp out there, I think we would have got knocked, like, almost instantly. And look, I understand there's different beaches, different tides, different areas. Some things are going to work better than other things. I, I understand that. I just think it's interesting for, like, you know, science and as an experiment today just to see if this is as effective and so far i mean i just i don't know too early to make judgment i'm gonna drop this backpack though this thing is heavy as heck oh that was a bite Am I getting outsmarted here? Again, fleet is off. These things are valuable. Too valuable to just be getting chomped like this. I think it's good that they're getting bit. I mean, attention is better than no attention. There we go. Oh, oh. We got something nice out here, man. All right, first fish of the day. This is actually pulling a little bit of drag. It's pulling the tip. What do we got here? Oh my gosh. On the sand flea. See if it's something too that possibly maybe wouldn't bite. The shrimp? This thing's really pulling. All right, what is this? Whoa! First fish of the day is a giant freaking croaker, dude. That might be one of the biggest croaker I've ever caught. Holy, that is a freaking eater. Oh my gosh, that is, I don't think you guys understand. Boom, all right, y'all, there we go. We'll give this guy a measure here in a second, but that is huge, honestly. Especially compared to the ones we've been catching out here. And the thing is, these are pretty decent table fare as well. Like, it's actually a really good eating fish. We're going to keep this dude. I mean, you can kind of see right there. They don't have the biggest mouth. So if you're going for really anything that bites, I'd recommend, you know, kind of like what I'm doing, using kind of a smaller hook. I don't even know if you could slurp in that first freaking same flea we threw out. That was a pretty big one. Anyway, that's so sick. First one of the day, first fish, and we are definitely taking that home. Chef First State's gonna be doing some cooking today. That is how quickly a day can turn around. The fun thing about these croaker too is that they actually put up a pretty darn good fight if I do say so myself. There's one species of fish that is out here that's hungry and that will demolish a sand flea. Let's see what else is around. More of those, something bigger, something different. I think the smaller ones are probably going to be our best bet. Not like super tiny, but like schmedium sand fleas. That might be like the filet mignon right now for our menu. I'm excited we caught something though, man. It, it just kind of sketched me out a little earlier with that like chocolate water. It's kind of churning here a little as well. It's not the cleanest, but it'll do, donkey. Down in the comment section below, let me know what your favorite bait is. Uh, if you do some surf fishing, you guys like the shrimp. You guys like the sand flea? You guys like the squid? Hey, maybe you're an artificial guy, you know? Lures, or like artificial bait stuff. Hey, maybe you're a baking guy. If y'all haven't seen that video, <laughs> pop it up right there. This is a good one. All right, flea, listen up. You can do this, man. Just look tasty. I think the biggest thing that we're kind of testing out here is just, is it, oh, there's some bait right there. I just spooked. Is it just worth it for me? to find these things around here. We might have to do a video just going head to head with shrimp just to see who the legit top G is here out on the surf. That is exactly what I'm talking about. I didn't even feel a bite there. But look at this, sometimes they just leave the shell and like barely anything in it. So you probably won't really get bit on that. I think we're gonna get a little, a little bit crazy here. I'm gonna do something. We're gonna try the double fleet. That is a nice little sand flea sandwich. 
Come on, man, the double flea? No way this doesn't get smoked. Oh, instant, instant, instant. Oh, we didn't get it? Don't worry, we got another on there. Go for the other one. Don't play with my emotions. Oh, where are my fleas? Brother. Come on. We're getting outsmarted. Come on. There we go. He's on. Oh, it came off. Or is it on? No. Wait, I can't tell. Oh, we do have something on. What in? We lost our weight. Okay. So that's probably one of the things that's just picking us clean, which is kind of a little bit frustrating. Let me see what this is. That, I believe, that's called a pig fish, right? I think so. It's part of like the grunt family, I believe. I don't really know. Let me know down in the comment section below. Kind of looks like a pinfish, but I don't think that's a pinfish. Interesting. All right, we'll get back in there. Dude, how did my weight fall off? I'd love to catch some more stuff to see just what bites this though. See, there's a bite. There we go. There we go. Hold on, that's a little bit nicer of a fish too. It's putting a little bend in our rod there. Oh yeah. Come on, what is that? What is that? And that is a, all right, there we go. That is the pinfish. Actually, really nice one too. These things are so freaking spiky, man. All right, kind of cool though. I mean, third fish we hooked and it's a different species as well. You can see just how versatile this bait is. Yeah, get out there. Those things put up a decent fight for what they are. Chef first state back in the RV reporting for duty. What's up, dude? Sue chef. Reporting for duty. Hello. He's excited, you just can't tell. I am hyped that we actually found some sand fleas. I've, I've been looking so many different beaches, so many different spots. I think the real test should be uh, very soon when the Pompano are gonna be running back. They're gonna be coming down from the north. Apparently those fish love sand fleas. I have never caught a keeper Pompano. It's supposed to be the best, if not one of the best eating fish you can honestly catch in Florida and just around this area in general. So I really, really, really wanna catch a keeper Pompano this year. That would be my first one ever. That would be so freaking cool, but they love sand fleas. So maybe we'll get some more sand fleas for that. Other than that though, Probably just stick with, um, yeah, probably stick with the shrimp for now. I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Today, we are going to be cooking with Static Seasoning. If you guys do not know, this is my new baby. This is my new company. I created a seasoning company. This is a Cajun-inspired blend, and, uh, yeah, man, I'm so happy. A lot of you guys have already got your orders if you ordered the first day. We hear a lot of good things. It makes me happy. I'm excited, man. I'm excited to see what you guys put it on. Make sure you send some pictures over, and, uh, check out the Instagram if you have not yet already. If you would like to support them and pick up a bottle, it really would mean a lot. I don't have any channel sponsors at the moment. And don't get me wrong, just being here watching the videos, that's more than freaking enough. But you know, if you'd like to extra, extra support, and if you just want a fire seasoning, a good product, man, staticseasoning.com, first link down in the description below, it'll be in the pinned comment as well. Again, it is a limited supplier for this first one, so if you want one, make sure you go grab a bottle. All right, so here we go. This is the fish we call two fillets of fresh croaker. This is gonna be super simple. So all we're going to do, all right, turn that on, get the heat going, butter. Boom, in the pan. As I said before, it's actually released. We've been like using it in a lot of stuff. This is one of my favorite ways to do it. Oh, this one isn't opened. I've got a stash in here. All right, here we go. Ooh, that's smelling good already. This is some good old Cajun butter. Just put the static into the butter. So simple, but I'm telling you, once you mix this stuff around a little bit, this is legit, like so freaking good. I'm telling you if you guys could smell this. And this is good for cooking stuff. And this is good as a sauce, and especially if you're getting crabs or something to like dip them in there. So literally all we're gonna do, put the fish in the Cajun butter. It honestly doesn't get much easier than this, but it also doesn't get much better than this either. Just something super simple, but I'm telling you man, you have got to freaking try this. Shrimp, fish, crabs, chicken, 
vegetables. I mean, anything you want. I mean, just, I'm just telling you, man. If you want some tastiness. Woo! Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Give me a flip on there. Oh my gosh. Let me get a close-up real quick. All right, y'all ready for this? Oh. Peep game. Peep game. Just take a second and look at these fillets, man. That is some static seasoning. Again, I'm telling you, you would not be disappointed. I'm gonna stop plugging now. I'm just saying, like, this is actually freaking fire. It's super, super simple, too. All right, there we go. One more look. Let's get taste test. Try to set up this camera good a little bit here. Oh, look at that. Can you see the steaminess? Oh my gosh, I'm literally like salivating. All right, fresh caught croaker, soaked in that static butter. Boom. Hold on, let me try that again. There was a bone. I don't know who the heck filleted this fish. All right, here we go. Bro, that's just dumb, man. That's so good. You could put whatever other seasons you want back on top or even in the butter mixed in. Maybe some garlic powder or something. I don't know. This by itself, though, so freaking good. Again, thank you guys so much for all the freaking support on these videos recently and um, with the static seasoning and everything. Slowly but surely, we're learning out here still. We found the fleas. We caught some fish with some fleas. Ate some stuff that we caught with some fleas. That's pretty much going to do it here for this video today. I'm excited uh, to show you guys some video ideas I have in the future because we're just going to keep learning and keep growing. And um, yeah, man, appreciate y'all for coming on these adventures with me. All I gotta say, man, is let's keep this rolling. Thank y'all for watching. See you next video. I wanna know just where.